The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, September 24, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Chicago White Sox vs Cleveland Indians Dylan Cease is doing well this season, according to his baseball saving page, as he is in the 93rd percentile in whiff percentage, 92nd percentile in strikeout percentage, 82nd percentile in SPA, and 70th percentile in XSLG. He throws four different pitches, fastball, slider, curveball, changeup, and his slider has a .179 batting average and a .272 batting average. He faced the Indians once this season and lost going 3.1 innings and allowed six runs on eight hits with a walk and two strikeouts. Our first betting advice is to pick Chicago White Sox. On Friday, the Indians will start the reigning Al Cy Young winner Shane Bieber. Bieber will be looking to end the year with some positive momentum after not pitching since June 13, due to being sidelined with a strained right shoulder. In 14 starts earlier this year, Bieber went 7-4 with a 3.28 and 1.25 whip. In 11 career starts against the White Sox, Bieber is 5-2 with a 2.66 ERA. Our second betting advice is to pick over. Miami Marlins vs Tampa Bay Rays. According to Basabalsavan.com, Cabrera posted a 32% whiff rate during the game, while generating a 62% whiff rate on his slider alone. The Marlins right-hander now carries a 5.31 ERA over 20 and one-third innings with a 1.62 whip. The statistics are not pretty, but the long-term upside could be. He would presumably join a stacked Marlins rotation next season, if he keeps up the promising stuff. He has a tough matchup against a deadly Rays lineup in this matchup on Friday. Our first betting advice is to pick Tampa Bay Rays, minus 1.5. The Rays should be fine, as long as they generate a few runs. Miami's offense has been the Achilles heel for the team again this season, and it's a juicy matchup for an elite defensive team like Tampa Bay. They've held opposing teams to a .234 batting average and .688 ops this season, both being top 10 numbers in the league. David Robertson will tow the rubber for the Rays on Friday. The veteran reliever will get some work in as a starter with a 5.63 ERA and 1.50 whip. We'll see if he can stand his ground in the spotlight against the struggling bats for the Marlins. Our 2 end betting advice. Quick reminder, Bavada is an online sportsbook and casino established in 2011. The platform offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, Bavada allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join Bavada now using our link down below and get access to all sorts of premium sport welcome bonuses after signing up and making your first deposit. St. Louis Cardinals vs Chicago Cubs, Game 2. Jack Flaherty has been struggling this season, according to his baseball saving page, as he is in the 10th percentile in chase rate, 26th percentile in Zara, 28th percentile in average exit velocity, and 29th percentile in hard hit percentage. His 89.7 mph exit velocity is the highest against him in his career. Flaherty has a 5-pitch arsenal, fastball, slider, curveball, sinker, changeup, and his sinker has been his best pitch, as it has a .154 batting average and a .231 slugging percentage. He faced the Cubs twice in 2020 and went 0-1 in 4.1 innings and allowed 4 runs on 5 hits with 4 walks and 7 strikeouts. Our first betting advice is to pick St. Louis Cardinals. Zach Davies is on the mound for his 32nd start of the year for the Cubs in this contest. 
He comes in 6 to 11 with a 5.49 ERA, a 1.562 whip, 73 walks and 112 strikeouts over 146 innings of work this season. Davies didn't factor in the decision in his last start, which came on the road against the Brewers last Friday. He threw 4.1 innings, allowing four runs on six hits with three walks and three strikeouts, in an 8-5 Cubs defeat. At home this season, Davies is 4-7 with a 5.99 ERA, a 1.536 whip, 36 walks and 61 strikeouts, over 82.2 innings of work in 17 starts. Davies makes his 14th career start against the Cardinals in this contest. He comes in 3-4 with a 3.93 ERA, a 1.309 whip, 18 walks and 64 strikeouts over 73.1 innings of work against them. Davies is 8-10 with a 5.14 ERA, a 1.447 whip, 46 walks, and 95 strikeouts, or second betting advice is to pick over. Toronto Blue Jays vs Minnesota Twins. Toronto is missing a couple of depth pieces, with third baseman Santiago Espinal, strained hip flexor, and outfielder Kevin Biggio, back tightness, both on the Illinois. Starting pitcher Haim Jin Ryu hit the Illinois with neck stiffness following a rough start last weekend. Relievers David Phelps, Lat Surgery, and Kirby Yates, Tommy John Surgery, are both out for the year there is just over a week left of the regular season, and the Jays are in a fight to grab one of the two wild card spots. It is a three-team race between the Jays, Red Sox, and Yankees to grab the two wild card spots. Toronto will need to finish the season strong in order to make the playoffs. Rookie Bailey Ober will be on the mound Friday night after losing this matchup to the Blue Jays last weekend, when he allowed four runs on four hits and two walks across four innings, while striking out three. The 26-year-old has flashed some potential in a solid rookie season, going 2-3 with a 4.34 ERA in 19 starts. Jorge Polanco is quietly having a great season to lead the Twins' offense with an 0.841 ops, 31 homers, 10 steals and 90 RBI. Our first betting advice is to pick Blue Jays minus 1.5. Deadline acquisition Jose Barrios will take the mound on Friday against his former team looking to continue a fantastic season, as he's 12-8 with a 3.45 ERA and 187 strikeouts in 180 innings between the Blue Jays and Twins. Barrios picked up another win over these Twins last time out, allowing three runs on four hits and one walk, while striking out six across 6.2 innings of work. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has a shot at the Triple Crown with a .323.413.617 line, 46 homers and 105 RBI. Our second betting advice is to pick over 9. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.